Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the EA Play Live June 2020 by Electronic Arts. Make sure you subscribe and, subscribe and watch the original link. I have three special guests so far. So far, I have three special guests. I don't know if anyone else is joining, but three special guests so far. I have Jatatha Kuna, JD, and Super Mario Jarius. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. Right, thanks for having me. Great. I won't say if anyone else yeah. joins, but uh, if they do join, then I'll put them in the thumbnail or whatever. Anyway, make sure you go subscribe to Electronic Arts, watch the original link, the original link, subscribe to the channel, give a like, and make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Anyway, let's do this in four minutes, and we can get this started. Oh. All right, it's starting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, you started for me. Oh, rated RPM. RPM A. All right, Electronic Arts presents. EA Play Live. EA Play Live. Hello and welcome everyone to EA Play 2020. We're happy that you're joining us. All right, who's not wearing headphones? Over the next 45 minutes or so, we've got so much for you, including creative, innovative, I hear and echoing. Really fun new games, and a lot of news to share. But before we get into the show, I'd like to take just a minute. Yeah, guys, just that doesn't have headphones. That's why. If you hear an echoing, it's because just that does not wearing headphones. Medical staff and essential personnel. This has certainly been a challenging year. From natural disasters like the bushfires in my home country to the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, these brave heroes are working to keep us safe and healthy at every turn. I also want to thank our teams for their amazing dedication while working from home. What you've been able to achieve is nothing short of inspirational. We are also deeply thankful to all of you, our players. Even when we've had to stay physically apart, billions of you are using games to come together to play and do amazing things for each other. You've shown why this is truly the greatest form of entertainment on the planet. This is also a critical time for the movement to end racism and racial injustice in this world. Black, Black lives, lives matter, matter. And there is Jeez. much to be done to drive real and meaningful change. A couple of weeks ago, we shared some actions that Electronic Arts is taking. We will not rest on this. It's a long-term commitment. We're here for players of every color, background, religion, and personal preference. We will continue yeah. to build strong representation in our games, yeah. and we are focused on making our communities fun, inclusive, and positive places to play. We also have real work who, who to bring greater diversity sound? into our company, and we are committed to doing that work. Today, we're here because never of the mind, power never of games. Someone did like games a slurping sound. Together. They can make our lives better, they can teach us, they can provide escape and self-expression. And most of all, games can be fun. All of us at Electronic Arts believe in that, and it's why we're excited to get up every morning to make great experiences for all of you. So thanks for being here with us. And now, let's get into some games. Finally. What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and welcome to EA Play. We had an incredible show in LA planned for you. Huge stage, massive setup, these giant monitors. I was gonna fly in on an X-Wing. I was gonna land the X-Wing on stage. I was gonna set off a bunch of fireworks. Uh, then what? T-shirt cannon, volume. bam, shooting out game consoles. Then Carol Baskin, some tigers. That last part was all me. What? Then, because of circumstances beyond our control, all right, who we keeps on joining and rejoining the different. Discord? Instead of LA, I'm in my hometown of San Francisco, Jam. but we still have the Tigers. What's that, Jane? No Tigers. No Tigers. No, no more all Carol right. Baskin up in this no bitch. Tigers, but whatever. We're still gonna bring you no, the no, EA no, play no. you know and love. Huge surprises, yeah, please. big announcements, incredible yes. reveals, and never before seen. We'll do it, play. Boomer. Coming Absu up over yeah, the next Boomer. hour, we've got game reveals galore, world premiere trailers of new titles, some old favorites making a comeback, a look at a new way Star Wars fans can live out their greatest fantasy oh, yeah. this year, plus a sneak peek at the future. Oh, 
and pay close attention because today you could win one of thousands of Steam Stop. codes for more than a dozen great EA games on Steam. Throughout the show, keep an eye out for discreetly placed golden letters. Ugh. Jamer, stop joining and rejoining. Write them down as they Thank appear, you. and at the end of the show, we'll tell you where you can enter Wait, that secret code all, for a chance to win three games on Steam. Oh, never mind. So don't go oh, anywhere. No. Okay, whoever no, is getting out uh, and into talking. the Discord Let's chat, just games. don't Up do that anymore. We're headed to the Outlands. That's right. It's Apex Legends time. Apex. Apex Legends. Apex. Apex. Champion of the Royals. Over 7 million players. You should smile more. Fortune's favor. Oh, this is season 5. Hey, Apex fans, the battle just keeps getting bigger. Thanks to you, Apex Legends is coming off its most successful, most epic season yet, and we're just getting started. Really? Season 4 wow. saw more of you jumping into the fight than ever before, and you've kept that amazing momentum going forward. When is this coming to five, Switch? The biggest and best start to a season ever. Play. Bring this to Switch and I'll start playing. Hold on to your holograms. Be crazy. We hope you've been okay, enjoying yeah. season five, Fortune's Favor, which has seen the introduction of our latest legend, Loba. Yeah, I, I, I saw that one trailer Canyon. about Loba. Rest in peace, Skulltown. Oh. An all new ranked series and a ton of quality of life updates, but it's about to get even better. Today, I'm here to tell you about what's coming next to season five with our latest collection event, Lost Treasures. Take a look. People in chat are scamming. No one will ever know. Well, actually, you just actually died. Gone. I have Tesla. Actually. Adventurers. Raiders. Explorers. The video. They risked everything in such a fame. Well, actually, I have Tesla. Fortune and answers. If you find what they're looking for. <laughs> but if they survive, they might walk away with lost treasures. The lost treasures I'll collection event. You all when I see you. My silences are firing again. <laughs> Check yourself or wreck yourself. Hey, thanks. I owe you one. <laughs> guns? Who needs guns? I don't need guns. You don't need guns. I know what I'm looking for. I won't walk away without it. Dora Chajukoya. Oh, Fortune. Yep, Fortune's favor. T, it's me. Be careful. He's watching you. Keep clear. Wait, what? Yes, for Xbox One. Yep. No switch. Fuck. As you just saw, the Lost Treasures collection event brings with it a ton of great. God damn it. A new limited time mode, armed and dangerous, evolved. Not for the switch. It's the return of a nope. fan favorite, snipers and shotties only, that. but with a twist. Send it out my decoy. All armor is evil armor, and we're removing all of the respawn beacons across the entire map. <sighs> Not coming to switch. Fuck. Don't worry though, you'll still be able to bring back your teammates with the help of a new item, the mobile respawn beacon. What? I, I thought it was because they were showing it at the Apex. start of each match, giving you the power to choose what? when Prince and more importantly, Apex. where what? you bring your teammates back into the battle. What'd you say? Who was trying Lost Apex. Treasures also introduces a new town takeover, Crypto's Apex. Map Room. What do you mean, who's trying Apex? That's what you said. You said, oh, because they were what trying motivates Apex. this drone wielding hacker? Oh, because Apex was part of the EA thing. And of course, the Lost Treasures collection delivers a bunch of exclusive content you can earn by completing challenges. Fuck you. As well as all the event exclusive cosmetic items and the introduction of your boy Mirage's heirloom. Which is fittingly a of himself. Yeah, boy. I'm excited to see you all in the ring. Don't worry, there's plenty of me's to go around. And the best part is you don't have to wait that long. Lost Treasures drops on Tuesday, June 23rd. All right. And that's not all, Apex fans. The battle is expanding. That's right. This fall, we're bringing Apex Legends to Steam. And I what? know you're hoping, wondering, praying. So before you ask, yeah, Crossplay is coming to Apex this fall. Crossplay? It's been one of but the biggest requests we get, and we're Steam, thrilled but to finally we're deliver Switch. Fans. What am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, one last thing. Let's make it official. 
<gasps> yes! We're yes! Fans of Nintendo yes! Respawn, yes! And we're incredibly excited. Apex to coming to Apex Switch. Legends to the Switch oh. this fall. Yes! And we'll share Let's more details. Let's go! Of Let's so go! What? Squad up, no matter Nintendo where you and your friends are. Apex is coming to the Switch! PlayStation, Switch, what? or on the PC via Let's, Let's go! go. We're throwing out a lot of money to divide between the platforms. You can on behalf switch? of the entire Nintendo Apex switch. team, we want to thank our incredible team. It's coming to the Switch! Let's your go! Your passion for the game is truly inspiring. Oh. Apex on to Switch! And don't forget, check out Lost Treasures on June 23rd. Switch. Let's go! Oh man, that was amazing! I will! I think I'm hyper -bun. Oh, I'm definitely like, getting it this I fall. I've had a really good time Apex here. is coming to switch this fall, let's go! Okay, we're starting off good. We're starting oh off god. good. Oh my god, Apex is coming. Soul Soul, everyone. One thing I admire about Apex Legends the Sims. is the oh, no. to having such a diverse range of characters. At The Sims, we've always believed <sighs> representation and oh, diversity no. in games is critically important, perhaps now more than ever. It's ah. difficult to put into words just how meaningful it can be to see yourself reflected in the games you play. So, here to tell you in their own words are a few members of our Sims community. Oh boy. Okay, it's who very keeps on rejoining and joining? Come on. It feels empowering, Up this actually, and very moving. It, it really taught me a lot. The importance of just, just like keeping relationships good with. Oh people. yeah, because he's in a like car. The only and place where I was uh, and shit. open. They get to see my personality first before seeing my disability. I guess you could say. What? I found myself has, to be the only. I think she has child like a smaller hand school. or something. I was discriminated. I was bullied. My skin tone, my height, and my teeth first realized that I was trans and uh, I had I, I was like praying so to God to undo it I have this world where I can express myself and no be Apex myself. on switch where this I is crazy from, who I am the color of my skin yeah, I, you know who I'm attracted to let any of that get in the way it was it was no barrier no matter where I was or what I was going through I had so a safe place this is Ew. plausible this Ew. is a future you can have it was almost Ew. like I was peeking into the future and I didn't know it at the time but it gave me hope it gave me a sense of hope that I could build a life that looked like that okay who's rejoining it's almost like a utopia of what I hope our world eventually becomes as I got more comfortable with my character in the game yeah, it's just that. I got more comfortable with myself I play to build me I play to express myself I play to make a difference I play to feel good about myself. It's I play to have confidence. Feel. To have me to fuel my creativity. It's oh. more than just a game. It's creating your life. I am. You can create your own way. life. Life without fear. Wenge. Sims. I, it's I, probably I, Sims Five or something. Sims. Sims Five, like the fifth fucking game. As it's you just, just saw, there are so many reasons why I am proud to be part of the Sims global community. We want the Sims to be a place of unity and hope. A place where you can be your authentic self and build That's it, I'm gonna kick him out. for our shared world. A place to imagine what's possible. To our Simmers, thank you for everything you've done to make your communities virtual and real a better place. <sighs> He's not gonna stop. Now, I know some of you tuned in hoping for some Sims news, and we'll have plenty to share as the summer goes on, but we do have one announcement. Sorry, right, guys, this is gonna be really annoying. We'll be welcoming players on the no, no, platform as The Sims 4 arrives on Steam today. Take a look. Sims 4 on Steam. All right. Steam? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Every house. <laughs> Every friend. Some Furry suck. friend. Not playing Sam. Every adventure. Our Every adventure. Star. Style. Please style. Please style. Baltimore. I just saw Baltimore and Baby Yoda. Possibility. Baby Yoda. Play with life. Theme. Play with life. 
Oops, four for Steam. Hey everyone, Alex here from what? the social team, and joining me today. Oh, I just think have baby loader now Freeman. as Sims. Hey folks, yes, we're here to tell you that it's not just The Sims 4 arriving on Steam today. Five more great EA games, including Titanfall 2, A Way Out, and Dead Space 3, are all playable right this second. And when EA Access arrives on Steam this Whoa. fall, you can get all those great titles and a ton more with your membership. You can also expect to see our new releases on Steam too. One of the first arrived just a short while ago with full mod support via Steamworks. The critics love it and we know you will too. This is Command & Conquer Remastered. Race me. Conquer. All right. Command & Conquer. Remastered at 4K. Seven hours of music? Really? Alright. Was seven hours of music. I know, seven. Seven, seven freaking hours. Yeah. Welcome back, Commander. And Steam isn't the oh, only Commander. platform getting some love. We'll be bringing games to more platforms than ever. You can expect seven new games coming to Switch in the next 12 months. Seven the games on Switch? Burnout Paradise coming tomorrow and Whoa. Apex Legends oh, switch, later switch, this year. Switch. And we're bringing cross seven games on Switch favorite games too. Starting with yeah. Need for Speed Heat and continuing with some new titles being revealed later in the show. It's all about giving you the freedom to play what you want, where you want, and with who you want. It's about playing together. Absolutely. Now, let's reveal some more games. Over to you, Greg. Quick reminder to keep an eye out for those special golden letters hidden throughout the show. They could appear anywhere, and I mean anywhere, so keep your eyes open. Write the letters down as they appear, and once you've got the full okay, code, hush. you'll be able to enter so for a chance a. to win one of more than a dozen great games on Steam. So stay tuned and find out where to enter the code at the end of the show. Now, if you follow my content at all, then you know there's nothing I love more than buffalo wings and discovering inventive. So they're probably gonna like. Well, I don't have any buffalo wings, but I do. Have so basically, you enter the code, the and once years, the is thing is over in, in an hour, like it's probably gonna to give us such say like, "Oh, you're gonna get some free today. stuff or something, or you're gonna get a discount a few of the on Steam." Developers working on the next wave of EA Originals. So I get one. EA Original. All right. Doink. Videos. Hey, Sometimes you just have this great idea oh. of a game, but it can be really hard to do it on your own. We wanted uh, space for our studio's creativity to flow free, so that we could try unconventional approaches to solving new ideas. Bless you. There are times where Bless you've got you. to like break past your own sort of mental blocks, even if that meant building a whole new kind of game engine. No. We get to do the game we want to do. Nothing, and I mean nothing hey. comes into the game if it doesn't follow the They're vision. calling out the coronavirus. We can really push our ideas further yeah. and bigger than we first imagined. Let's find that magic. On, we turn our spotlight on three studios. Up first is Hades Light and their AP. mild man. It's gonna sound like Apex. quiet leader Joseph Ferris. So you have A and then you have P. World premiere. All right, let's do it. Okay. Please welcome Joseph Ferris. Hey, Brothers. There are like passionate people, there are crazy people, and there is me. A way out. Okay, can you swear here? Can you, you swear? swear? Okay. The Oscars, you know? <laughs> the Oscars! <laughs> you! <laughs> Fuck the Oscars. No apologies there. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know I'm cocky. I can't help it, man. <laughs> I was born in Beirut, 1977. I lived there 10 years. There was civil war and there was a lot of uh, bad stuff happening there. Yeah, World War uh, Two, I think. We tried to move five times to Sweden. The fifth time they let us in. Uh, and that's lucky for Sweden, because I've given Sweden a lot, you know. 
my third movie, World War II, or was basically, like about basically my life other civil when I came wars to Sweden or something. When I was young. Mm -hmm. I've done five fiction movies and now I've done three games. And it's way hard to make a game. It's almost like the audience have control of the pacing of the story while the movies is being paced for you. In video games, there's so much to be explored from a storytelling perspective because of the interactivity. There are some studios out there that are making games that have good stories, but they pretty much have one mechanic they like reuse all the time. The designers and the story writers are, are kind of like doing two different games. That's why I founded his life, to keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible in games. That's what game number pushing three boundaries. Life is all about. And action. The it new game, two. It Takes Two, is a co-op action-adventure platformer that will blow your f***ing mind away. <laughs> the story starts out with a small family. Cody, May, that's the parents, and then... Um, Rose, no, the it won't. Cody and May are about to separate. Rose doesn't want them to divorce. So she creates two dolls out of wood and clay, and these dolls magically come alive and actually controls both Cody and May. And you could say you're almost controlling their emotions. You're almost playing their emotions. There's right. even levels I, I where see, uh, you're actually a making yeah, a mechanic for Yeah, a video game within a video emotions. game. So again, if that marrying is... the story okay. and the mechanics. And I think Possible. for the players, that's going to feel very what new, different, and unique. Sense. They haven't played anything like this before. It Takes Two is a crazy roller coaster ride. <laughs> it just, it, they basically really just showed a roller coaster. Ending, but that ending is that the roller coaster Hilarious, crashes, but not enough to make me laugh. the sky and get up into space. <laughs> and when you're in space, you're like, what the f am I doing up here? <laughs> and then maybe you get back to, to Earth again. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It Takes Two, actually. It Takes Two to do a lot of stuff. 2021. That's wow, that, game. Was, that was the best way to describe it. All right, Joseph, we love you so much. Thank you. Keep it up over there. F the Oscars. Uh, of course, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep this originals train rolling. And let's stay in Sweden. Of course, Oscars. I'm a fan of both their delicious red gummy fish and their video games. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> Klaus and Olaf from Zoink Games. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Welcome to Gothenburg and, well, my home. Unfortunately, I didn't bring you any Swedish fish, but we do have some exciting news for you about our latest game. At Soink, we've always been driven by love of rich visual storytelling and creating strange worlds that people can escape to. The weirder, the better. And I think uh, my friend Olaf would agree. Yeah, absolutely. And for our next game, though, we wanted to try something a little darker. Olaf. Something out of a <laughs> gothic fairy tale. It started with the mood and some paintings, grew into I want a haircut really like that strange or something. world that feels like something out of a beautiful twisted dream. And that's the world of random. Lost and Random is the story of Even, a little girl with a big heart uh. and an even bigger temper. According to her face, it doesn't event, look like she has a big her heart. Life, <laughs> she embarks on a dangerous journey through the world of random. But fortunately, she's not alone. Just like I have not a lot of smiling. Even also has a crazy little weird friend thing with her. Along her journey, even discovers Dicey, a playful, loyal, almost puppy-like dice companion that gives her the power to really change things in the kingdom. Her of partner is a dice. That's hilarious. Despite the name, in Even's world, randomness is feared, <laughs> and a dark force controls every aspect of life, from where you live to how you act or what your favorite color is. It's a coming-of-age story set against the backdrop of a mysterious world, but it holds a modern message that's really relevant to our world right now. I think we can all relate to the desire to try and control the chaos around us. With Dicey's help though, Even learns the power in doing just the opposite. Embrace the randomness, accept the uncertainties in life, and you'll be surprised how far it takes you. Imagine if you could change the course of life with a roll of a dice. What would you do? You play it safe or trust in yourself and take a chance? We can't wait for you to play and find out. We're still a long ways from launch, but we hope you will join Even and Dicey on their journey next year. Until then, please enjoy this first look at Lost and Random. Okay. Welcome to Random. Random. So this game is going to be called Random. Random. Bends with the roll of one dice. A dice that has ruled this kingdom for generations, transforming the fates of people. So it's like an like evil king. dice, and that I think her companion is basically a, a nice dice there or whatever. Is another dice 
Yeah. With the power to change everything. Yeah, so there's two dices. All right. Now, my friend, or two die, I mean. To to play and die. Odds, and one die is evil, one die is nice. So there's two dice, okay. Well, well. You can't have the sweet without the sour. No, Dicey. They should be scared of us. Right? Okay, she's... The girl has, like, a British accent. All right. Lost in random. <laughs> That's what the game is called. Lost in random. Really cool. Hey. Lost in random in you know what? I'm not getting that. I'm not, I, I'm not getting that code, actually. I'm just going to say the letters, You know I was going to do that? You didn't know that? Dicey's my spirit animal. The game's out next year. But... For something that's blasting off a whole lot sooner, take it away, Kevin Franklin. Kevin Franklin. At Final Strike Games, our team of experienced industry veterans Five. have worked on incredible multiplayer franchises. We are passionately focused on making great multiplayer games. That's why I am incredibly excited to announce that we have partnered with the talented team at EA to release our first ever title, Rocket Arena. Rocket Arena. As you'll see, we stay loyal to the name of the game. It's a rockets only shooter that allows players to get into the action quickly. It's basically and only the fight. okay. We an want a, rocket a rockets only game. Awesome, All right. Competitive experience to play with friends. I think you're going to love what we've got in store for you. Here is the all new trailer of Rocket Arena. Enjoy. Rockets away. Let's kick this into gear. The trophy will soon be mine. Have you ever wondered why life is so good on Crater? Sure, we've got the beautiful beaches. And you got pirate ships and water. Quality public transportation. Basically, like a Cretaceous. Oh, dude, there's a jungle. There's a roller, and there's that Cretaceous roller coaster. The people are courteous and friendly. Jolly good for me. Jolly good for me. Their fellow citizens. I'm not, I'm not British, but the real reason life is so good. I just like doing the accents. We've got rockets. Oh shit! Stop Let's rock wagging. it. Lagging! God damn it! But most importantly, it's got rockets. Everything is gonna be our rockets. 3v3 action. Epic knockouts. Signature abilities. Testing combos. A fucking. Goddamn son of a fucking bitch. What's wrong? Oh, Rocket Arena. Okay, Steam, Xbox One, PS4. So as you just saw, no oh, switch. Boy, are obviously arena. awesome to blast no all switch. over the place. No switch. All right. But in order to come it's out on fine. top, there's a lot to master. It's You'll most have a likely going to be free to play. Abilities to blast opponents out of the arena and an arsenal of evasive moves. Rocket jump, rocket climb, and dodge to avoid getting knocked out yourself. Don't worry though, you're never out of the action for long. Even when you're out, you'll fly right back into the fray. You'll also be able to really customize your own unique look and play style. Each of the 10 heroes available at launch have their own rocket powered abilities. And as you play, you'll discover items that allow you to further refine each of your heroes' play styles. Plus, every character has 100 levels of progression. Then unlock new cosmetics and rewards. They're, they're, they're like golden, much or is it bronze? I don't know. It's most likely on July gold. 14th. Gold. And there's July, more right. content to come in our first season, which begins just two weeks after launch on July 28th, and brings with it a blast pass and a ton of free content, 
including new maps, in-game events, of course, and a new you have the pirate character. ships and you have rockets there. Rocket right. Arena is a game meant to be played with friends, regardless of platform. That's why we're thrilled to announce cross-play support right from the start. All right. So grab your friends, <laughs> regardless of their platform, and get ready to blast off with Rocket well, Arena on July PS4, 14th Xbox on One. PlayStation, Xbox, Origin, and Steam. And we'll be sharing more gameplay right after the show with the help of some great content creators. So all check right. us out Don't on no YouTube switch. at right. the link below. Fucking That's all right. See you in the arena. You fucking live stream. Wow, that looks great. And hopefully you've all been oh, keeping oh, track oh, of the golden oh. letters hidden throughout the show and nearly cracked the code. Here's a hint. It's not Kanye. It's Keep an eye out for the last couple it's of not letters, Keon and then at Kanye. the end of the show, we'll reveal where you need to go to enter the code and a Why? chance to win some great games on Steam. Now, from the future of Rocket Warfare, we head to a different kind of battle. It's the oh, real reason I didn't get any sleep EA last play. night. And if you thought you heard sleigh bells, that's because it might as well be Christmas in June. It's finally time to talk Christmas. Star Wars Squadrons. Now, okay, Star I Wars. promise you, we are going to get a first look at some brand new gameplay in just a moment. But first, for anyone who doesn't fully grasp why I'm so excited, earlier this week, EA and Lucasfilm dropped a trailer that literally gave me all the feels, chills, joy, excitement, and then more chills. I saw a little bit of it. Take a look. I, I didn't see the real, like, all of it, but, uh, about to see some game engine footage. Perfect shot. Makes history. Four, five pilots. Is this a Star Wars trailer? Yes, wow. Star Wars. Oh, that's that's it. It. The galaxy's finest. October 2nd. Wow. The eight-year-old and all of us is celebrating and excited. The 37-year-old man on this couch is excited. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce a new Star Wars title. And here to put the hype in hyperdrive is none other than Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian. Hey, Greg. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. Happy to actually get to show it's this good. to people. I bet. Now, uh, in my copious notes I have on you, I'm told you are quite the Star Wars fan and have been a long time. How long have you liked Star Wars? I've been a Star Wars fan for pretty much my whole life. I don't even remember the first time I saw the movies. And as a kid, there was a lot of different parts of Star Wars I loved. One of them was being a pilot, that idea of climbing into an X-Wing or a TIE fighter. So, you know, I played all the flight yeah. games in the 90s and I got pretty obsessive about them. I'd pause, meticulously draw the insides of the cockpits and stuff. And actually, I dug really? up some of those drawings from my parents' attic over those... the holidays. Wow, We're Whoa. showing them right now to the world. This strikes me as above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars. Those are fandom. drawings that he made? Uh, I think nice. in you'll find that quite a few people have that level of nice. Star Wars fandom. Uh, when we started this project, I talked Ooh, to a lot of people okay. as I joined the team, and a lot of them had similar kinds of stories of things they'd done as kids. One of them even built a functional cockpit in his garage. What? Wow. <laughs> that's a, that's fandom on another cockpit level. How in a do you garage. guys go from being a fan, drawing what you see in the game, or building a cockpit in your garage, to actually making this game? Well, I think that fandom, just love of Star Wars, has provided a really good foundation for us. But on top of that, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star Wars when they worked on Battlefront 2. And when Battlefront 2 wrapped up, there was a really small group of us that were really into particularly the pilot experience within Star Wars. And we wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we, we did kind of a grassroots initiative, or started a little passion project, and that ramped up into eventually what is the game we're going to show you today. You talk about, you know, your passion for this, your nostalgia for Star Wars flight games of the past. How do you honor that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we were trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do something that feels fresh and new for fans today. 
And so what we've tried to look at is sort of the spiritual core of what I think are the best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. And what they did that I love is that they made you. that part of the universe real. The level of depth and detail that they show in the ships, the, the way that you control them, is something that I remember fondly from my childhood and is something that we're trying to do very much with squadrons. You know, in real life, being a pilot is, is hard. It takes skill. And that's something that you'll see yeah. throughout the game. It does you know, take you a start off playing, it's pretty straightforward. Fly around, shoot your lasers. But as you get deeper into it, you start learning how to divert energy from your lasers to your, to your engines, how to shift your shields from the front to the back to cover your butt in a dogfight. Or at the higher levels of skill, you can do really crazy stuff. Like you can boost your engines, fly ahead, cut them off, whip around 180 and shoot a missile off your and drifting backwards. Like real ace pilot. Fucking laggy. That's really where we have a lot of fun with the game. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> I understand the nuts and bolts of how to play it. Is there a single player story? Don't talk Is about there a multiplayer mode? Bolts. What are we getting into? It's actually I mean, some of both. Well, you so can talk about nuts and bolts, but not the, single player the banjo story. game, I mean. It takes place a little bit after Return talk about of the that. Jedi. Yeah. And it has kind of a, a unique dual banjo perspective game. approach to it. So when the game starts, you're going to create two pilots. You create a New Republic pilot and an Imperial pilot. And you're going to alternate between their perspectives, mission to mission, over the course of the story. So you basically play as a good guy and a bad guy? two familiar faces. Now, yeah. when you're done with that story, a few and you familiar play faces in the practice range, you say, hey, I want to try multiplayer. We want to make it really easy for you to hop online with your friends and play competitive space battles at that point. Um, and so we, we've done a lot to try to reduce the barriers to make it as easy as possible for you to play with your friends. And so I'm happy to say we fully support cross-play. You could be on PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC. You could be playing on a traditional display or in VR, which, fun fact, the entire game supports on VR, VR from beginning to end. It's pretty cool. But regardless of how you're playing, which platform, they can all play together. Just hook up with your friend, connect, have an awesome space battle. Yeah. You just death starred my mind, man. Like, I don't... That's <laughs> death starred. Awesome. That is... Uh, well, the big death question. Death starred uh, the When mind. can people actually play it? Uh, not too long, actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Yep. Oh, okay. I, I okay, already saw the trailer. Or whatever about it is. You. I thought you were going to leave me on a teaser there. You October did, 2nd. Remember, I appreciate that. The next big ask I have, on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Absolutely. I, I kind of figured you might want to. On behalf of everyone at Motive and the team at Lucasfilm, I am very happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons. Enjoy. Oh, shit, gameplay. Six minutes, well. The second Death Star is gone. But the Imperial Fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron. Let's make history. So far, I don't think that's gameplay. I'm pretty sure that's another trailer so far. This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings oh. in a single player story spanning two factions. This is just cutscenes. And master <laughs> multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. With the option to play the entire game in VR. This is the definitive Star this Wars game pilot play. experience. Uh, come on. Oh. Stop it! You'll begin your career in a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots. Okay, so yeah, this is basically the, the gameplay. Uh, it's probably the VR, that's what it is. Yeah. You'll experience this world through your I don't really see no like the instrument buttons on the screen. Provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Vanguard, welcome to the Nadir uh, Dark. One of my spies has stop been it. tasked with the New Republic Starhawk project. The story of the two pilots you play Stick together. will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready! Let him have it. <laughs> to take the fight stop. online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. 
support ships can the keep allies Reaper safe and then the X Wing. As well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters. Y Wing, TIE Bomber. To devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. Got a preferred component? You need something customized. I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of Little over 50 components that alter how your ships fly, bite, and survive. They're on you. I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout oh, depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got them. This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer mode. Oh, nice. First up, dog fight dog mode. fights. Lagging. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Stop lagging! Just turn down the quality. Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Oh. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unmarked. For oh, teams looking for an I even love, greater challenge, I just love explosions. it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature fleet mode, battles. Fleet Battles. You have dogfight, Fleet Battles. Fleet battles. multi-stage conflicts. Yeah. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy. Coordinate loadouts and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ship. And finally, the ultimate goal target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flash right. and take it down. So basically At just, yeah, phase, take them down. Your squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagships safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. I'm hit! Speedy, unrelenting Yeah, that's assignments. why I call gameplay. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and yeah. subversion. Jamming the enemy. Oh. Sensors can't spot you. Or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable. Take your shot. We need to hurry. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Making my attack run now. Let's make this count. I guess so. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join right. the galaxy's finest and make your mark. Yay. Pilots wanted hope of this galaxy. Lamar Jackson. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Lamar Jackson. I'm excited to be a part of the EA Sports family and to be you guys' new man cover athlete. I can't wait to show you guys what we have in store for you this season. This is EA Sports Next Level. EA Sports Next Gen World Premiere. You feel it all. Is this FIFA? You feel that oh, it's like I'm lightning. Oh, what moment, the fuck? I'm untouchable. I'm not playing. I'm not afraid of anything. Not afraid to hit. This is FIFA. Yeah, football. NFL. I Makes you feel like somebody. I never thought I could rise to another level. Yep, NFL uh, 20. Is it 20? Should NFL 20 or NFL 21? My heart is Probably light. 21. NFL 21. Score that goal. Oh! You're a hero. FIFA as well. Oh. NHL that and FIFA. Carves, your name. No, no. NHL is hockey. Never mind. Uh, it's, it's NFL and FIFA. 60,000 people. Singing your song. Football and soccer. I can't live without that feeling. Timmy Bones. Feel football in my heart. Feel it in my hands. Why? Taste it. Blood. See the unknown. 
Brady, Tom Brady. You have to fight again. Brady. I want the real thing. Adams. I want that. Sweat dripping, shin splitting. So basically, uh, NFL and FIFA. Defense. I want to live Defense. I don't want to feel EA it all. Sports. EA Body Sports. In the game. Feels next level. Yeah. Now. That's a lot to look forward to, but there's more. What? Here to tell it's... us about the future of gaming is EA's Chief Studio Officer, Laura Miele. Thanks, Greg, and thanks, Lamar. Welcome to the EA Sports family. There are great things to come from EA Sports for all of you, and that's just the beginning. As you've seen throughout the show today, our electronic artists are working hard to bring you more of the games that you want to play. Games like Star Wars Squadrons, Apex Legends, and Command and & Conquer. These games all exist because of you. Your voices are heard and we are acting on your feedback. Now we've talked a lot about all the exciting games you'll be playing this year, but our studios are working even further out, creating new experiences, new stories, new gameplay, all enabled by new console technology. And we're so excited about what's to come, we don't want yeah. to wait until next June to share what the teams are working don't on. Don't wait until next June, yeah, because of Cor maybe Corona or, or whatever. Generation shifts are an Work opportunity to push beyond the boundaries of gaming as we know it today. Um, it's probably and this new, time is no different. Probably a new game. Our studios are taking their crazy, ambitious ideas and making them real. Criterion is known it's for NASCAR. how their games feel. From superior physics mm -hmm. to nuanced details oh, of NASCAR? gameplay, this team hand curates the moment cars. to moment experience. Yeah. And with the new consoles this year, there will be a seamless immersion which will get you into the race in a matter of seconds. Yeah, because Xbox Series Bioware X doesn't have Bioware imagines and creates worlds where you become the hero As of your the own worst story. Real screen I ever and we're using this next generation of technology to make those fantasy worlds your reality. For every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. At Motive, we are working on a highly ambitious and innovative Junk. new game that puts the power and creativity in your hands. And it's an experience that would have been impossible without next-gen technology. Whoa! Kind of this is just me. the beginning uh, of the things you know, we are working the on, the and there is so yeah, much more to come. Mm -hmm. The future of EA Studios is not just about new technology. It's about you, okay. your voices, your ideas. We want to be where you come to play. We want to make games for everyone. So please keep giving us your feedback and let's build the future together. On behalf of all of our studios, thank you for joining us today. But before we sign off, there's just one more game we would one, love to share. One more game. Cousin Darren, over to you. Cousin Darren. Thank you. Uh, so the moment is here. We finally get to say, we're back. We're doing it. Skate's happening. We're rolling. Skate. Oh, we secretly got skate. together. It's People the wanted Skate Four. The I skate think. evolution continues. We've been waiting years, honestly, to oh, shit. make the skate. right game at skate the right evolution. time with the right idea. Skate and uh, really, really pleased to say that we're here. It is really early, but uh, it takes a little while to find Cuz or wake him up. Dude, harsh. Still, we've got a long <laughs> way to go, but we're stoked, and this is just the beginning. And seriously, we, we really can't wait to bring you guys in and have you be a part of it with us. We want to thank you for your passion, your patience, and all the support that you've shown you know, so, us to get at, to this at point. At Summer Comments. Games Fest, we got it's a, a it's amazing. Hawk, we and now we're getting a skate. You commented this into existence. Amazing. Skate changed my life. Thank you so much. Skate forever. Guys, guys, we did Five. it. We brought back Skate. Thank you to EA. Thank you to Cuz. Thank you so to Darren. Just saying, Thank you to you. Okay, Thank you to me. I can't believe that I'm so happy in my heart rate. Is this what exercise yeah. feels like? Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, <laughs> I can't believe it. Before we go, uh, because I love you guys, here are the last letters of the secret code. 
If you think you've got the complete code, go yep. to player.gg slash EA and enter for a chance to win one of thousands of free games sponsored by player.gg. Oh you can find the official rules and everything else over at player.gg slash EA. Now, this has been an, an amazing experience, an amazing opportunity for all of us all over the world to come together and celebrate gaming. Thank you for being part of EA Play. Until next time, I'll see you online, and it's been my pleasure to serve you. All right, so that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is it. Not a lot of dislikes this time. I think uh, this year was much better than the last two years. This is where our dreams begin. So for Switch, for, for Switch, we're getting Apex Legends, and then we're getting seven more Switch games. Apex Legends for Switch. And we're getting seven. Apex Legends. Legends for Switch is like game I'm really excited for out of all of these. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play some Apex Legends in fall. Definitely gonna give Apex Legends a try. Game. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's it. Yep. Yeah, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoy it. I see y'all later. And yeah, I ended my video. All right, guys. Uh, yep, that's it. So make sure you watch the the original link. Subscribe to uh, Electronic Arts. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell to get notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Let the